Well, it's a familiar response in cities that struggle to control violence among young people. Retaliation for one violent crime. But we're about to meet one young man who chose a different path, a much brighter one. Our Garvin Thomas is here with tonight's Bay Area Proud. Garvin. Jessica, Raymond Pardini is a 16-year-old junior at Haywards Mount Eden High School. He admits he's a bit shy, so knocking on strangers' doors to get them to sign a petition is definitely outside his comfort zone. But it's what he was willing to do in order to do the right thing. When violence takes the life of someone close, revenge sometimes feels like a good response. An eye for an eye, a fair deal. That is not, however, how Raymond Pardini sees it. I wasn't angry, I was, I was, I was sad. Last August, Raymond's friend, Keontae Murphy Jr., a Mount Eden High School graduate with plans to join the Marines, was shot and killed while walking a female friend home late one night. At vigils that followed, Raymond heard whispers from some who wanted to take matters into their own hands and not leave justice to the police. That shocked me because that's not at all how I saw Keontae. I didn't see him rolling with that kind of crowd of people who would try to put themselves above the law because that's not how he was. Raymond decided a much more fitting response to such a dark act was to shine a light, literally. You see, while revisiting the spot Keontae was shot, Raymond noticed just how dark it was at night. He contacted the city to see what he could do about it. A list of rules followed about making measurements, taking photographs, and collecting signatures, all of which Raymond spent weeks following. It, it was more than just, you know, doing something. It was helping communities and people. Because I didn't know they were going to do all of this. I thought it Raymond's be petition easy. asked for lights to be added to a single yeah. pole near the crime scene. The city responded, though, with much, much more. Last week, lighting improvements were completed up and down the block. This admittedly shy 16-year-old had gotten the attention of his city leaders and earned their respect in the process. Well, I think what a positive role model this kid is. Tasha DaCosta is a sergeant in Hayward PD's investigations division. This young man chose to take a different course of action, to do better for the community, to make the community safer. Raymond says he never expected his plan to work so well, though he's happy it did. His was just a simple hope, that this spot never be darkened by violence again. That, that was the reason it happened. And I guess when I look at the lights, it'll remind me of him. What a great example of somebody who faced with this challenge, decided to do something instructive and something positive for the community uh, as a legacy to his friend. Wow. And he really than, put himself in a leadership role. Yeah. That's probably changed his life He says he grew a lot too. because of this experience. Yeah. Yeah. That's marvelous. Thank you, Garvin. Thank you, Garvin.